What is going on guys, Spasmodic here, back inside Destiny, and today is May 27th, Friday, or Zure Day, and it is week 90 of Destiny, and week 37 of the Taken King for Zure. So for this week, Zure is located inside the reef in this doorway, as always, I feel like Zure is like visiting the reef more often, you must like it a lot, so let's approach Zure, next to uh, Mega Shantastic and Sluckin... S. Luckin 16. I have no idea how to pronounce this guy's name, but uh, let's approach Zur and see what he's got for week 90 of Destiny and week 37 of the Taken King for Zur. Alright, for this week, as always, starting off with the Titan for this week, Zur has brought the no backup plans with 280 defense, a full strength build with shotgun kills trigger force bear, and force bear's duration is increased. So these gauntlets are probably one of the better, probably the best defender titan gauntlets for pvp because i know a lot of defender titans i've been using the, these gauntlets lately because whenever you get a kill with the shotgun it triggers a force barrier or a shield for your health so you have more armor basically or more health which is kind of like good i say it's really good so um if you guys got 13 strange coins be sure to pick it up because it is they are pretty good titan gauntlets for the defender so under the Hunter, Zure has bought the ATS-8 Arachnid Helmet with a full intellect roll. And this gives Golden Gun that lasts longer, zooms in further when aimed. So that's pretty cool. Makes your Golden Gun like a sniper type kind of deal. So that's not bad at all. I have never really used it much, but it is pretty cool looking. But I don't really don't think it's like that worth. I don't think it's worth it, really, honestly. But if you guys got 13 change coins, be sure to pick it up. Add it to your exotic collection. So onto the Warlock. Zure has bought the Starfire Protocol. 280 defense with this one strength roll. And you this gives you an additional fusion grenade charge. So this is probably one of the not as good chess pieces for the Warlock. Because fusion grenades really aren't the greatest things. I know the magnetism on these like sticky grenades are pretty good right now in PvP. And I'd say these are really good in PvE as well. But um, I think with this, with all the options that the storm, uh, not the storm caller, the sun singer has, the the firebolt grenade is probably the best option to run with, anyways, because of the burn on the firebolt is pretty crazy. So onto the weapon, Zure has bought the bad juju exotic pulse rifle. So after each kill, this weapon will reload instantly and increase damage for a short time. Kills will help you charge your super, and this weapon has bonus accuracy while firing from the hip. So this is the bad juju, probably uh. The one gun from year one that got your super like crazy fast. It still does, but I really don't think it's in its prime right now. I know earlier when the Pulse Rifle Middle was a thing, this gun was a beast. But uh, I see this gun every so often. I don't see it a whole lot, but it is. It's pretty decent in the Crucible. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but it's still a viable option to run with inside of the Crucible for 23 strange coins. So on to the Ingram. Zure has bought the Legacy Ingram for Gauntlets. You guys can get the Sunbreakers from this thing or Don't Touch Me's or... The feedback fence or something like that for 29 strange coins for this legacy Ingram. So onto the Curios. Zure has bought the Plasma Drive, Stealth Drive, Heavy Ammo, 3 of Coins, Glass Needles, as well as the exchange of 2 strange coins for a Moth of Light. So for this week, I'm probably not going to be picking up anything but uh, except for 3 of Coins as always. Because I already got all these already at like 310 plus because I have like every exotic in the game. And so I'm be picking up these as always with 346 strange coins. Wow, I'm like stacked on these. So I'll be, buy a couple of these. I have been using them a little bit more. I'm not gonna buy a whole lot because I already have like so many three of coins. But I've been starting to use them a little bit, little bit more for crucible and like the knife holes and all that stuff. So that's a good start, I guess. I'm trying to get rid of them because I do need exotics for exotic shards because I do kind of run low on those because i need to use them for infusion fuel on my exotics so this will be recapping what jura has watched for week 90 of destiny and week 37 of taking king for jura be sure to pick up what you want from him before he leaves because he probably won't sell this stuff for a while so be sure to pick it up so this will be coming up to the end of the video guys this is what jura has bought for these weeks of destiny and if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys later back inside destiny peace